from the National Weather Service in Raleigh. It's Nick Petro with a special briefing as of 4.30 p.m. Saturday, this 30th of January, 2021, as it relates to a wintry mix for northern portions of central North Carolina tonight through Sunday. And you can see on this first slide here that I'm showing, there are winter weather advisories for a big portion of northern central North Carolina and some winter storm warnings up near the Virginia border and the foothills and, and mountain uh, counties of, of North Carolina. So um, so let's get right into it. Let me first start off, as I frequently like to do, with the current conditions. And a couple things I'll draw your attention to. Notice how cold, how it's colder, you know, uh, over the Carolinas and to our north. So I'll put a C for cold. Look back down to our south, like over the deep south and northern Gulf Coast. Look at those readings in the 50s and 60s. That's where it's warm, where I got the W. Um, there's low pressure in this region of the country. I've got an L there. And remember which way wind blows around low. It blows around counterclockwise, right? So that's, uh, that's how air moves around low pressure. And as the wind is coming around this low, it's trying to move this warm air northeastward and as this warm air overrides the cold air that's in place over the mid-atlantic and over our area um, it creates a a gradual rise remember cold air likes to hug the ground and warm air is light and buoyant cold air is dense so the warm air rides up over top of the cold air and as the air rises it cools and condenses into a precipitation band and that's what we've got right here this is uh, what we call warm front driven precip band. So uh, there's a variety of different names for it, but that's what's going on right here. And uh, and that's basically uh, this band of rain will uh, and snow mix will continue to uh, lift north. And this will be part one of the storm system. And I'll show you here in just a minute by what we mean by part one. Okay, and part two is what comes uh, tomorrow with this activity back over the Mississippi Valley. All right, so let me uh, jump ahead in the slides here. And let me just skip these and I'll come back to this, or come back to them in a minute. But I wanna to kind of uh, follow up on what I just showed with that warm front and that band of precip. Notice that uh, in the simulations, now what I showed you a moment ago, um, what I showed you a moment ago, is live data. What I'm showing you now are model simulations. And here is that that warm front, a warm warm air driven, uh, we call it a warm advection driven uh, band of precip. And notice where it'll be by 8 p.m. this evening. So what, uh, three hours from now? It's expected to be crossing the, the Western Piedmont and the Southern Piedmont of, of North Carolina. And, and this particular uh, simulation is suggesting that um, that basically the western half of this band from the triad west will fall as snow and the eastern portion of it will fall as rain. And uh, let me clear my drawings here. And so basically as the band of, a band of light snow uh, moving north across the western and northern, northern Piedmont, basically along and north of 85, now that band could put down a dusting of snow this evening to as much as one inch of snow late this evening. So notice the uh, the breaking point, if you will, between rain and snow. It's basically the the snow is north of 85. Here's the 85 highway, and notice the 85 highway in this image. And you know it's it's uh, rain south of 85 and snow north of 85. So once again, we're able yet again to use I 85 as a uh, as a dividing line between where the wintry weather is versus where we have liquid. Yeah, there's a speck of blue here and the speck of blue in different places. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, there's maybe a few wet, wet snowflakes trying to mix in uh, south of 85. But in terms of where it will be predominantly snow will be north of 85 this evening. And those areas could get, you know, as it's passing by, Fortunately, it's going to be short-lived. That band will only be over any given place, not more than, say, two hours. And fortunately, you can only put so much snow down in that short period of time. So we're expecting, you know, a dusting to maybe as much as one inch of snow 
uh, late this evening with that warm front band. All right. All right. So once that band moves through overnight tonight, then we start seeing some of the rain and mixed precip from from that's currently falling over Mississippi Valley now developing and moving uh, into central North Carolina. And that might start off as a mixed bag of precip, light, light mixed precip. Uh, beginning to move into central North Carolina during the pre-dawn hours. And you can see in that uh, 3 a.m. time slot, it's just kind of a speckling between blue and pink. And, you know, blue is snow, pink's freezing rain, uh, green is rain. So it's kind of a mixed bag, if you will, as the atmosphere is cooling down and trying to sort of delineate where there's air cold enough for snow and freezing rain and, and just rain. But by 6 a.m., it looks like the warm air that I pointed out on the observation. Remember I showed the warm air coming in uh, when I showed the live observations? That warm air is going to win out, but it's going to win out above the surface, not at the surface, um, particularly along and north of 85. So that's why uh, we are expecting a period of freezing rain, because that cold near freezing temperatures or below freezing temperatures, they're going to hold on at the surface. But above the surface, it's going to warm up. Uh, so, so, uh, so that's, that's a classic freezing rain pattern. And yet again, um, well, let me, let me point out here that, um, you know, precip in terms of freezing rain could fall as far south as the highway 64 corridor. And that's kind of what I drew right here was highway 64, roughly not, I'm not, this isn't a precision highway drawing, but, but you get the idea. The highway 64 corridor is a, is a good uh, you know marking line for how far south the freezing rain could get. Um, south of 64, it's just going to be too warm, even at the surface. So it'll be all rain south of 64. However, if you look during the duration of the morning, 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 a.m., where does the freezing rain last the longest? And the answer to that question is, of course, north of 85. So here's the 85 corridor that I'm drawing on the graphic now. And let me see if I get this right. There's the 85. So north of 85, uh, it's going to remain freezing rain the longest. Early on, freezing rain could be seen as far south as Highway 64. But, but, uh, but between 85 and 64, the freezing rain is not expected to last very long, and it should um, really not accumulate to a whole lot shouldn't accumulate more than say a glaze a tenth of an inch at most okay but north of 85 where the freezing rain hangs on the longest that's where we could see up to two tenths of an inch of ice accumulation so uh so anyway that could give us uh maybe a few tree branches snapping could, could result in a couple power outages you know bridges and overpass and elevated roads could be uh could could be uh you know slick and icy in spots you know, the trees will be bending over and leaning uh, north of 85, you know, when the ice accumulates on it. So, uh, so again, just to summarize, several hours of mainly light freezing rain is possible north of the Highway 64 corridor uh, between 6 a.m. and noon. However, freezing rain will persist the longest and accumulate the most along and north of I-85, where up to two-tenths of an inch of ice may accumulate. One-tenth of an inch or less is expected between 64 and 85 before it changes the rain. And then south of Highway 64, this is an all rain event south of 64, okay? Let's then uh, kind of step one more slide forward and show you that rain will gradually end from west to east during the late afternoon and early evening. So that by you know midnight tomorrow, tomorrow night in the, in the early Monday morning, it, it should be dry across all of central North Carolina for overnight Sunday night in the Monday morning. But then on the daytime Monday, as the upper portion of the storm moves across, um, that may touch off a few uh, uh, sprinkles, maybe a, a, a rain or snow shower mixed. Notice how the blue and the greens are kind of just kind of scattered and mixed about. OK, so during the daytime Monday, central North Carolina will see scattered showers of mixed rain and snow. However, none of those showers are expected to last for any uh, you know appreciable uh, length of time. So that said, um, no snow accumulations are expected with uh, Monday daytime uh, rain and snow mix. 
Okay, so so a little bit left over there on Monday, but that shouldn't create a problem. This is mainly a two part event. Okay, part one is that band coming through this evening, uh, perhaps given some light snow accumulations along in north of 85. Part two is the freezing rain event uh, tomorrow from 6 a.m. till noon, where it could freeze as freezing rain as far south as Highway 64, but lasting the longest along in north of 85. All right, so. So, um, so that's the, that's the way we see this playing out in terms of, you know, hazards, um, impacts, you know, there could be some scattered power outages, road may be slick in spots, um, you know, and again, particularly along and north of the 85 corridor, all of this that you see on this slide right here, I've already conveyed here. Um, I've already conveyed here, um, through, through these graphics right here. Okay. So, uh, how much, again, just to kind of reiterate how much snow, Areas along and north of 85, this is for this is for this evening and tonight, have the best chance to see a light coating, you know, as much as an inch of snow. The the high end amount, the worst case scenario, and and uh, um the worst case scenario, you know, the high end amount, you know, because we always give a low end amount, a high end amount, and then the official expected amount. The high end amount and the official amount are not that different. In fact, they almost look identical. Um so so anyway, the point there is um, the point there is that that there really is no opportunity for any out you know outside shot at something say you know you know something that you could shovel <laughs> you know in terms of larger amounts of snow. This is going to be a quick hitting band this evening. So at most maybe an inch or two across Forsyth County, and then less than an inch pretty much everywhere else. But again can find mainly along the north of 85. Uh, the northern I-95 corridor could get in on it, uh, could get in on a little bit of that snow. There's the northern I-95 I corridor. Um, and here's, uh, if I can get this right here. No, 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 here's I-95, I'm sorry. This is 85 right here. This is 85 and this is 95. So the northern I-95 corridor could see a little bit of that dusting to maybe as much as an inch, but really most of it's gonna be along the north of 85. All right, so that's the snow, and let me get my uh, arrow back here so I can advance the slide. And there is our expected freezing rain amounts. Okay, so freezing rain could be seen as far south as the Highway 64 corridor. Okay, but the bulk of it is going to accumulate along and north of 85, where there could be a tenth to as as much as a quarter, maybe probably below a quarter. We'll say a tenth to as much as two tenths along and north of 85. So it's this area here that's going to see the greatest impact in terms of power outages and tree damage and tree leaning and, 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 and driving hazards. But there could be a glaze to up to a tenth of an inch between 85 and Highway 64. Again, don't, don't forget about the Northern I-95 corridor. Oftentimes we see the I-85 effect uh, drifting over towards the, towards, the, um, uh, towards the Northern I-95 corridor. All right. So um, bear with me here for just a second. All right, that wraps up our briefing here. Uh, here's the summary points. So uh, again, I think I've pretty much conveyed everything uh, numerous times here, but um, uh, this is a two-part event uh, this evening and tonight. Um, basically uh, that light band of snow will move across central North Carolina this evening and early overnight. Areas along the north of 85 have the best chance to see dusting to up to one inch of snow. Again, the worst case scenario uh, could be one to two inches of accumulation. Um, but, but again, that would be mainly north of 85 and probably even up near the Virginia border. All right. Part two is uh, starting in the pre-dawn hours tomorrow where we see that freezing rain developing. Again, locations along the north of 85, including the triad, uh, could see the duration of freezing rain last the longest, potentially into about noontime. There, ice accumulation could approach two tenths of an inch. And then um, ice could be seen as far south as Highway 64. So between 85 and 64, there could be as much as a tenth of an inch of ice, um, but probably more like a glaze. And again, watch out for those uh, uh, breaking tree branches, isolated power outages, and slick road conditions, especially along the north of 85. Remember, uh, it'll dry out Sunday night, and then during the daytime Monday, we could see some scattered showers of mixed rain and snow but no additional snow accumulations are expected. All right, so that wraps up this briefing.
um, as it relates to uh, this weekend's winter weather event for Central North Carolina.